In this lesson, we're going to be taking a line segment and finding the point directly in the middle, also known as the midpoint. First, you have to find the coordinates of your endpoint. Remember, each coordinate on a coordinate plane has an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So, if we're looking for this endpoint here, we'd have an x coordinate of 1, 2, 3, negative 4, and our y coordinate would be negative 1, negative 2. So our first endpoint has a coordinate of negative 4, negative 2. Let's look at this endpoint over here. This one doing the same thing. We're going to have an x coordinate of 1, 2, 3, 4, and a y of negative 2. That'll give us 4, negative 2. Now some of you might be thinking, I already know where the point in the middle is. I could just see that it's going to be right about there, that's four spaces from the left endpoint, four spaces from the right endpoint, and my midpoint is just going to be zero, negative, two. And you would actually be correct. But in all cases, you're not going to have an exact straight line, and it's not going to be so easy to tell where that middle point is. So when you can't tell just by looking where the midpoint is, you're going to be using the midpoint formula. Here we have the midpoint formula, and what you're basically doing is you're adding your x values, dividing by 2, and you're adding your y values and dividing by 2, because you want to find the halfway point right in between. It's kind of like averaging together. So here we have our x, y coordinates for our endpoints that we had before. It doesn't matter what order you put these, but I'm going to say let this be my x1, let this be my y1, and then my other endpoint, I'm going to say let this be my x2, and let this be my y2. First, we have to add up our x's, that's going to be inside this point, that's going to be negative 4 plus 4 divided by 2, and my next point here is going to be my added y values, negative 2 plus negative 2, negative 2 plus negative 2, all divided by 2. Solving from there, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That's going to give me 0 over 2. Here I have negative 2 plus negative 2. That's negative 4, all divided by 2. So if I simplify that out one more time, I'm going to get my midpoint of 0 divided by 2, which is 0, and negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. And we've got the same point that we found before just by looking 0, negative 2. And here we have the midpoint 0, negative 2. So it works. Perfect. Let's try another one. Here we have a segment with endpoints negative 3, 1 and 4, negative 1. Now this one's a little more difficult to find the middle. We know it's going to be somewhere around here, but I can't tell exactly where that point is, so let's go ahead and just use our midpoint formula. Remember, there's nothing too mysterious about this. We're just adding our x's, dividing by 2, and adding our y's, divided by 2. I'm going to go ahead and let this be my x1 and my y1, and let this be my x2 and my y2. Plugging all that in, I'm going to add my x's, negative 3 plus 4, divided by 2. I'm going to add my y's next, 1 plus negative 1 divided by 2, then all we need to do is simplify. Negative 3 plus 4 will give me 1 half, and I could just leave that as a fraction, that's okay, 1 half. 1 plus negative 1 is 0 divided by 2, that's 0, and we've got our midpoint, 1 half, 0. Let's do one last one of these. Find the midpoint of the segment with the given endpoints. Now here they've done you a favor and given you what the endpoints are. You don't even need to look at the graph. So we just need to use our midpoint formula with these points. Let's go ahead and let this be our x1 and our y1, and we could let our 3, 2 be our x2 and our y2. Now we just need to plug it in. First we just add our x's, 0 plus 3 divided by 2, then we add our y's, 6 plus 2 divided by 2. From there, if we simplify all of it out, we'll get 3 halves, and 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 2 is 4, and we've got a midpoint of 3 halves comma 4. 